once again to our channel. Today is a wonderful day. We will be cooking with you. So get your stuff ready and we cook together. So if you like our recipe, just leave a comment. If you want us to do some special dishes for you, just let us know. So I'm going to show you, first of all, today we'll be making um, a very special recipe actually. I developed this recipe, it's called cheesy yam. So we'll be needing our yam for it. So we'll be needing some bacon, so some eggs, um, raw eggs, so some tomato, and some onion, some garlic. Feel free to add ginger if you want, some jam, some cheese. And so I have, I have Chester cheese and I have butter cake, um, butter biscuit cheese. You know, it's Dutch, it's called butter cake. Butter, butter, butter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's called butter cake, that's butter cheese. So now some spices as usual. You know, I love spice, you know, so. Feel free to up to your spice or add any spice of your choice. I just want to guarantee you something. With spice, you can never make any mistake. So, first of all, we get a hot water. Right now, we put a hot water to cook our yam. So, we have to cook our yam well done because we're going to match our yam when we're done. So, guys, let's start cooking. Guys, right now, we start to cut our veggies and fill the yam so we can put it in fire to work. As you can see, my water is heated already. So, we get to work. Teresa, are you done? Almost. So guys, um, I finished peeling the yam. So I just washed my yam. Right now, somebody. I cut the yam very, very flat. Very, very flat, so it will get cooked on time since we are going to match the yam. So maybe some of you will be asking the quantity of yam you've got to use. It depends on for how many persons you're making this uh, cheesy yam for. So if you're making for two, feel free to use half yam, I guess. If you're making for four, the full yam. You know yam has different sizes, so just check it. I don't know how much you and your friends or your family eat. So just work according to your consumption at home, what you guys really eat, you know. So we have done, Carissa is almost done slicing. We're going to dice them. Carissa is dicing some of the onion um, and some of them she's cutting round. So you see why we are cutting some round and why we are dicing some of it. So guys, we're just going to let our yam get cooked and as soon as our yam get cooked, then we begin the process. For the record, if you're doing this at home, not following us step by step, make sure you already have you know, we do step by step, that's why you see us peel the yam, you see us show you the yam. So, what you do is you peel your yam when your yam is ready and uh, match your yam already, you understand? So that you can save time, you know, that's what I'm talking about. So guys, this is Let's Cook by Queensley. So guys, our yam is on the fire, it's cooking now. We have to save some time so the food can move faster. We're going to fry our bacon. So, Teresa. We are going to fry our bacon. You do the frying of the bacon. Yeah, please. So, you have to fry the bacon long. It's small bacon. So, let's put this away. Oh, Carissa, you didn't put on your heat. How are you going to fry bacon without putting on your heat? So, this is what you get when you have such people in your kitchen. So, the heat is not even on, girl. So, guys. Now we'll just put on our heat <laughs> so that Teresa can fry the bacon. But you see, she's making a mess of everything. Now she's rough, but she's good. So, Carissa, we'll just wait for this to get heated up. We have induction um, cooker, so it goes really, really, very fast. So I can see the heat coming up already. So we don't have to wait too long for our heat to come up. So we're going to fry our bacon. We don't have to fry the bacon so crisp, you know what I mean? So, Carissa, get the bacon on. So you fry all four bacon. I think we have four bacon going on here. So just place it in gently. So gently. Gently. And a four bacon. So here is your bacon are ready. So pack it out. Thank you. So there's something we're gonna do. We're gonna prep our 
Now, so you can fry it a little bit, front and back. So we don't have enough space. We're using a very small ham. So you can we start work on that. Our hands are ready. Be careful. In your mouth. So guys, you can make your ham just the way you want it, as brown as you want it. So we are going to prep our beef. Let's do a moment in here. Our tomato. So it's okay you get it some garlic ready, right, please. So I'm just going to lay this tomato, all of it. Yeah. And we're not just prepping our tomato, tomato but prepping also our uh, onion. Our round, uh, these onions are cut round by Carissa. She cut them all round. So Carissa, you can put some garlic over here. So now, what we'll do is, we're going to put some spices on our tomato. So it's good to reduce the heat so they don't get too warm. So we're going to put some black pepper on the tomato. How many garlic? Just one. So I'm just going to put some garlic in there. So let's put that away. So now, here comes my butter. So I'm going to get a little bit of butter. Cut some butter in here. I just put some butter in here. So now we're going to flip over our tomato. Why are we doing this step? So that we get, if you like your tomato raw, so you don't have to do this at all. But I like my tomato a little bit juicy with butter, you know? So, and I like some oregano on my tomato. If you like, you put it. So our tomato are ready, we just bring them all out, you know? So, why are you laughing? <laughs> our onion too, we are all ready, oh my gosh. This is amazing. So, now, our yams are ready as well. They are soft and tender. So we just have to pour it into a filter and filter the excess water away from it, okay? So let's do that. We finished filtering our yam. So we pour it into a bowl. Now we have to match it. So before we match it, to give our yam the kind of flavor and taste we want, we add everything we like, we want to add. So I got my, um, Chopped onions, diced onions, so I pour it inside. You can as well add some diced paprika, diced carrot, whatever you want, you understand? Our recept is very open to everything. So I added some paprika, and some chili, sorry, I added some chili. So I'm going to add some black pepper in my yam. So this is um, also black pepper too. Just some, um, you can add, if you want it spicy, today we're, doing, we're not doing it spicy. You can add spice if you want, so. This is chili salt. So we'll add some of the chili salt in here. So, if you want some oregano, inside and some maggi if you want, but you don't have to. So, we'll take a little piece, put it in our yam, give me salt please. No, you should have said we don't need salt, maybe because we cook the yam with salt. That's true. <laughs> and with too much salt inside. So I'm gonna get fresh basil. I love fresh basil, you know. So sometimes I don't always have it because it goes too fat, fat. So I'm just gonna chop some fresh basil. into my yam so now I'm just gonna match my yam so guys we'll finish we're done matching our yam you see you know yam is touchy so it's really good to match so first of all what we're gonna do is put our frying pan back in the on the fire so this time around I'm gonna use a little bit of butter so I'm just gonna take a little bit of butter I put it in the pan so guess what? We are going to be making mirror eggs. You know, two mirror eggs because I'm doing for two. So if you are doing for four, you make four mirror eggs. 
they form your eggs and so on and so forth. So the heat is on. I just break my head here now gently. So you don't forget to reduce the heat. So I break it. The second one, all in one pan. In one pan because it's going to contain it. So what I do is I just spice my mirror egg with pepper. So that's the only thing you do. So I like my mirror egg well done. If you don't like it well done, you don't have to cover it. So I'm going to just cover it because I like it well done. So while my mirror egg is working, I'm going to form my yam, my matched yam, our matched yam, into a patty, just like burger patty. I just made a yam patty. Is it? So that's what we'll do. We're going to repeat it for all the yams we'll have. So like I'm just doing two portions. So I need four yam patty for this. So you can feel free to make your yam patty thick or if you don't want it thick, whatever you want. If you want it light, you know, just just do it the way you want, just the way your family will like it. That's too thin. I want it wider. I want it wider so it's enough for one to eat and get satisfied. Don't forget, when it's coming, please put some water on your hand to enable you to do this. So, I'm just going to... So just repeat as many steps as you want, you know. So guys, our yam patties are ready. So, and our egg are ready as well. Our mirror egg, like I said, I left my mirror egg um, a little bit longer than necessary because I like it well done. I don't like it dripping all over. So if you like it dripping all over, feel free, you can move your mirror egg as early as you want. So now, we're getting down to business. It's time to fry the parties, the yam parties. You have to fry the yam parties back and front, back and front. So you repeat the step. For, you see me, I'm always using different cut areas. I should keep them in one place to save myself the stress, right? But you know, as usual, I'm going to say, I always do the opposite. So guys, I just added some butter. So, I'm just going to get my yam pie. I will show you the step of one. So feel free to repeat this step as often as you want. Like, it depends on how many cheesy, yam you want to have. So this is my patty, one of the patties. So I'm just going to fry it back and front. I'm using butter to fry it because I like the flavor of butter. So guys, let's see how this goes. Our cheese should be melted by now, so we're just going to take the cover off. So let's check it out. Do you think it's melted enough? For me, yes. So if you want it to melt more, you can. So like I said, you can put in ketchup, mayo, or whatever. So now we're going to cover the cheese, the yam. You see? Guys, that is not the end, just wait. So I told you it's cheesy yam. So if you don't like cheese, feel free to remove the cheese and just make yours yum, sweetie yam. <laughs> so now. I'm going to cover the top with a little bit of, which one? I think the yellow is so fine, so. A little bit of Chester and butter cheese. So we cover it one more time. Cover it for a few minutes one more time and we'll see the outcome. Outcome. <laughs> so guys, let's check out our Cheesy yam, the second batch of cheese on top of the yam. So, check it out, guys. I want you to see this. So, for me, this is ready. It's cheesy enough, but it's something I want to do. <laughs> I love pepper, right? Black pepper this time around. So, I just put some black pepper on it, you know. So, on top of it. So, you don't have to if you don't want. So now, 
check it out. My our first batch of cheesy yam is ready. You know, so that's our first batch. So we just keep it here. So the second batch is going to be a surprise. So guys, watch out. I'm just gonna get going with the second batch and you see the result of the second batch. So guys, the second one is going to be ready. We're going to do the second one with some veggie. So it's something different from what we did with the first one. So we're going to make this more healthy with some salad, with some fresh cucumber. So then we are going to add our tomato. Add some oil. Then we get our ham. So, first of all, let me tell you something. If you have a pepper sauce or something, if you want a spicy or you have mayo, mayonnaise or ketchup, anything you like, you can put on this. So we're going to do this with some mayonnaise and ketchup. So guys, see, I drizz you some mayonnaise and some ketchup and that. So I place my on it, my ham. Then I put my egg. So I'm just gonna put my bacon on it. So now I'm just going to put some mayonnaise once more or whatever I have at home to use, you know. So I'm just gonna put some some ketchup on it again. So I'm just going to finish that off with the top of my. So I just finished cutting my carrot. So I made it. So I'm just gonna put it here. So still make it a little bit slimmer. are ready so my designs are ready and one more thing to make it excellently beautiful so so guys we're just giving you a closer look of our finished product finished uh, food well garnished take a look at this um is it not lovely so guys welcome to the end of today's cooking cooking cookery show with my daughter carissa I think we did a masterpiece right here. So guys, please try our recipe. What's a great food? So if you like our video, if you like the work we are doing, how we enjoy cooking, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. How do you say it again? Like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment and keep the likes coming. That one is not nice. Say it again. <laughs> it's a way people say, it. please subscribe. Wait, no. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, keep the likes coming, and don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share as well. Thank you so much, guys. You, I want to thank you so much, so much for viewing. So, now we're going to say... Wait, wait, cool. <laughs> Goodbye for now. We love you. And don't forget, it is Let's Cook by Queensley. I like my dog to say it. Keep the views, the live, and everything coming. We need your support on this, okay? Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.